Okay, so um, I just read an article and it kind of ticked me off. I'm going to try to be, I'll be sarcastic about it. I'm going to try to be as nice as I can, but uh, hmm, it's going to be hard for me to refrain from being that nice. So I'll probably add some words to it and you can read the article yourself. Um, this is Linda here and... Um, you know, we've got the all these candles going on, and, and they're distracting us here, there, and, and sucking our life force out of us, and every penny we make is going to the District of Criminals. And none of us like them. None of us. I don't know anybody that likes anybody there. I mean, all of us want to, to live by natural law. I, I even see the liberals saying enough's enough. And look what this guy's going to do. This the CEO of the Corporation of America and his family. This just kind of pissed me off. So I'm going to try to, I'm trying to laugh, but it's not funny. Um, I'm going to try to read this and I'll be adding some words. So here you go. All right. Now. Oh. The Obama family trip to Africa to cost 60 to 100 million dollars. Well, that should probably do it for all of us right now. If you're not pulling your hair out, you should be. Um, President Obama and his family will be going to Africa later this month, but the trip won't be cheap. It's expected to cost the American taxpayers 60 to 100 million dollars, according to the Washington Post, who fudges the numbers for him anyway. So I'm sure it's going to cost a lot more. When President Obama makes his first extended trip to sub-Saharan Africa later this month, the federal agencies charged with keeping him safe won't be taking any chances at all. Hundreds of U.S. Secret Service agents and their prostitutes will be dispatched to secure the facilities in Senegal, South Africa, and Tanzania. A Navy aircraft carrier or amphibious ship with fully staffed medical trauma center, 40,000 times better than Obamacare, will be stationed offshore in case of emergency, reports the Post. Military cargo planes will airlift in 56 support vehicles, including 14 limousines and three trucks loaded with sheets of bullet proof glass to cover the windows of the hotels where the first family will stay. Fighter jets will fly in shifts giving 24-hour coverage over, a pre over the president's airspace so they can intervene quickly if an errant plane gets too close. Right there, if he is that wanted in Africa and has to have that much coverage, it's going to cost over $100 million. It's going to cost about $500 million to a $1 billion. So he needs to just cancel that vacation. The extraordinary security provisions will cost the government tens of millions, and I'm going to say over that, are outlined in a confidential, not very confidential if we're getting it on the news, uh, propaganda here, in internal planning document obtained by the Washington Post. While the glimpse into the colossal efforts to protect the U.S. Commander-in-Chief on this trips abroad, which, since America's in dire straits, he shouldn't be going on any trips. He should be taking care of affairs here. After the paper question, the cost of the planned family safari, wouldn't y'all like to go on a safari? The White House nixed that plan. The President and the First Lady also had planned to take a Tanzanian safari. Now, I'm sure they're going to take these safaris, I'm going to tell you. As part of the trip, which would have required the President's special counter-assault team to carry sniper, sniper rifles with high-caliber rounds. Get that, get that. He's anti-gun, but they're going to have them around him that could neutralize cheetahs, lions, and other animals including human beings, if they become a threat, according to the planning document. But the White House has canceled the safari on Wednesday following inquiries from the Washington Post, I bet, about the trip's pr purpose and expense, according to a person familiar with the decision. So, in other words, we just got fed a line of you-know-what. The paper adds Obama's trip... Could cost the federal government sixty million to one hundred million, based on the cost of a submit similar African trips in recent years, according to one person familiar with the journey. 
who was not authorized to speak for attribution, the Secret Service planning document, which was provided to the Post by a person who is concerned about the amount of resources necessary for the trip, does not specify the cost. So in other words, they're just pointing out here, it could cost 60 to 100 million because they're really not telling us how much. And if they have to have a, a hospital offshore and a no-fly zone and all these how many people did it say he's going to be watching after him? 14 limousines, 56 support vehicles, and trucks loaded with sheets of bulletproof glass to cover the windows of the hotels where him and his kids are going to be staying. I think that the man needs to just stay here and take care of business like somebody, if he was a president, he's a CEO, but if he was a president, he would stay here and take care of the problems here in Ameristan, but since he's a CEO of the District of, of Criminals that think they own all of us, he can do whatever he wants, and now we see it. So there you go. These are the things that really tick me off. While some of us, people are losing their homes, people are starving, people can't buy healthy food, people can't afford medical care, the Obama family trip to Africa is going to cost us an arm and a leg and probably another arm. So, anyway, I think we should all call the White House and tell them, no, vacations, no, no, not anymore. This is enough. He doesn't do nothing but play golf, lie, and take vacations. Peace, love, truth. Linda's out.